Yeah, so I'm out here in uh, in California, you know, blessed blessed to have the sun, but sometimes we get a little too much sun right now. It's hot. Uh, but I grew up in, in and around L.A., most in the San Fernando Valley area. Um, growing up, unfortunately, I did get in trouble as a kid in the classroom. I have a I have a lot of energy. Right. right. <laughs> Look right. Like e even today, I still have a lot of energy. And back then, you know, the teachers didn't really know what to do with that type of energy. Um, and I, I was still getting my, my good grades. But when I got done with my test, when I got done with my homework, I wanted to talk. I wanted to joke. I wanted to play games with people. Uh, unfortunately, that got me into some trouble. Uh, but later on, fast forward, you know, I eventually got into got into sports. Um, always love playing, playing games, always love being competitive and the lessons that you can get in sports. Uh, I had the the privilege of going off to UC Davis for my undergraduate. That's where I met my, my queen, right? She's, she's the one who's really passionate about the, the holistic and physical health. And I'm really the, the economic side. So we come together to, to create that powerhouse together. Um, and then from UC Davis is where I was able to take my first AAS or African American studies class, where I was first introduced to Greenwood introduced to Black Wall Street, and I was just like, "What? We had a whole city like no this this has never been told to me before. Like we had a whole entire self sustaining city, and the fact that that information wasn't given to us, well, I was like, that that doesn't make sense to me. Um, so that's a little bit of my journey. I'm sure we'll get into to more of the the board game, but started off in education again, getting in trouble, struggling, a little bit of energy, love playing games." and then grew, grew into learning more about Black history once I had the, the privilege of going off to college. All right, so you just mentioned that you attended college at UC Davis, and you had that light bulb moment where um, you read about uh, the Tulsa and Black Wall Street for the first time. Um, where you grew up in California, you know, was there a lot of Black-owned businesses on, like in your neighborhood or? I'm trying to think, other than the barbershop, there, there wasn't, there wasn't too many black owned businesses that I can remember growing up. I feel like the, the barbershop was it. And uh, my mom did own a business growing up. She had an eBay business, a resale.